everyone, welcome to day 12 of Face Mask. I'm Danai and today our theme is the nasolabial folds or the smile lines. So it's these lines here. And before I start, I want to say that this is a very, very natural thing and everyone owns them. It's part of our face. It's just that sometimes become more prominent. And uh, that is because as we age, our skin loses the elastin and the collagen, so it's more shaggy. And the cheeks, the cheek muscle here is becoming more weak so it drops. Sometimes it happens also from weight gain, extreme weight gain or weight loss. Sometimes it happens because we have unhealthy habits like smoking or being exposed in the sun without uh, sun protection. I myself have got uh, quite uh, obvious smile lines and uh, I've been having them since I remember myself so it's part of my face and there's nothing wrong with it. When my face is tired, they're becoming very obvious. The facial massage and the guas are very nice ways to have an instant release, but also can work in the long run. On that current moment, you're of course ironing the smile lines, you are, you are unfolding them, so you will see a difference. And if you have puffy nose or puffy cheeks, again, you will see a difference as, as you uh, move the puffiness away. But on the long run, the skin becomes thicker and more nourished as we bring the blood uh, circulation again, the oxygen and the nutrients. So it can help with the release. Another thing that I have uh, currently started doing and I see that it has an immediate result is face taping. So if you are interested in seeing something like this, please let me know in the comments so I can make a video about how to tape our face and our uh, smile lines and a lot of things. Let's start our practice and always remember to check the description box below so that you know what we need. We're going to take a deep relaxing breath, inhaling from the nose and exhaling from the mouth. One more time, inhaling and exhaling. Again, inhale, release the jawline, exhale and release also the cheeks. Let's remember to do our lymphatic drainage massage. So again, quite fast, I'm going to go to the back and to the sides. And as I'm doing it, I'm trying to relax also the face and the forehead, remembering that we need a very relaxed face whenever we are doing this process so that we are going to achieve better effects. So I have seen that many people, even teachers who are doing face yoga and gua sha, they are keeping their face quite tense unintentional, unintentionally. They don't do it because they are um, horrible people, uh, but it's, it's part of it's part of our face, we keep tension. We need to know how to release. My practice is all about the release, so I try to become quite aware of it all the, the time. The first thing that I like to do is that I puff my cheeks, but on this area specifically. So I bring the air to the front. I'm sealing my lips. I'm putting them underneath my teeth like that. And then I am puffing and I'm blowing. Seal your lips underneath your teeth. Mm. Mm -hmm. As you see immediately, it shows up the line. So then I take my fingers and I do a small circular massage over them. The massage starts from the nose, from the corners of the nose, and it goes towards the sides, the corners of the mouth. So you can start from upwards to the lower part. So we're going to puff, sealing our lips underneath our teeth because we don't want to create any wrinkles on the lips. And then let's start. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And release. The second thing that we can do is that we can put our tongue underneath the smile line. So with the other hand, the supportive hand, you're checking that the one side is not creating any wrinkles from our uh, tongue moving. We put the tongue underneath and with our hand, we are massaging upwards towards our hair, hair towards the nose. Tongue underneath and starting, starting.
you can also keep the tongue underneath and just move guitar fingers. Same thing on the other side. So again, placing the tongue underneath, supportive hand on the other side. And release. Then you can take your fingers only and you can start ironing underneath towards the mouth on the one side and towards the ear on the other. So starting and moving and opening this place here. You can vibrate a bit. Two, three, four, five. Keep your knuckles now and do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, and a little bit over the, uh, over the corner of the mouth. One, two, three, four, five. Same thing on the other side. Starting with the fingers. Everything is relaxed on my face. One, two, three, four, five, and then with the knuckles, same thing. From the nose, corner of the nose, two, three, four, five, and corner from the mouth, one, two, three, four, five. Take your fingertips and bring them towards the corners of the nose, at the start of the line, and start moving them in a circle, like that. Do it a few times and then move them upwards, two, three, four, five. You can do it again and move them upwards, one, two, three, four, five. Right, so let's continue with our gua sha. And here I'm oiling it up quite well. And I'm going to start my massage from the tip of here, the corner of my nose. I will keep a little bit the angle here on this point and just do some circles here. And then I'm going to start scraping a bit my nose, the side of the nose, to remove any puffiness. Hold with your supportive hand the other side and move the puffiness like you're vacuuming towards the side, towards the ear, and down to the neck. Again, scraping, scraping, scraping. Take all this puffy side, this puffiness up, and down. And then three, down, four, down, and five to the side and down. Now let's do the same thing on the other side, massaging the corner, activating this acupunctural point as well. And then start scraping. And in the same way, we're going to move all the fluids underneath the cheekbone to the side and down.
Now we're going to become a little bit more specific. We're going to start from the corner of our nose, hold with our supportive hand our lips and start moving upwards a little bit towards the sick bone. So we are ironing the line. When you have done it five, ten times, move a little bit lower to the corner of the mouth and do the same. And then take your big side and do the same thing all along from the corner of the nose and the corner of the mouth. Hop to the side, do full ironing mode. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. To the side and down. Same thing on the other side. So starting with our corner. Five. Let's do. Let's do ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, and corner of the mouth. Ten, nine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the whole thing is moving now. Hope underneath the cheekbone and down. One last thing that we can do is that we can take uh, the one side of our gua sha, the flat side, and then try to lift this whole muscle here that goes down towards the cheek, hops, lock it here and go to the side towards the ear and down. Again, lift it all up here and down. Lift it up here to the side and down. Last one to the side and down. Let's do it again on the other Keeping side. Support so. of hand, the other side, lift, corner of the nose, and to the side, and down. Same thing, lift. You see I'm kind of lifting it here, 90 degrees I hold, the side, and down. Three, side, and down. Four, side, and down, and five, side. So and these are a few things that we can do with our uh, gua sha and uh, our hands with the nasal labial folds. If you want again to do a taping video about these uh, places, these areas, feel free to comment underneath so that I prepare myself to do that video. In the end, just take a deep breath and relax. And just move your head a bit from side to side. Come back. And that was it for today. Namaste. And see you again tomorrow with another video. Bye.